Talia Nawa is a Zambian budding rose who graduated from Brown Avida Institute in Cleveland, Ohio, and is a licensed managing esthetician. Walia has worked as a beauty advisor for the likes of Elizabeth Arden, Fashion Fair, Dermablend, Paula Dorf, Givenchy, and MAC Cosmetics in the USA, where she was based for 14 years. She was the head makeup artist for a popular Hollywood movie on Paramount Pictures and Nickelodeon. She worked on the Avengers set with a renowned Oscar-nominated makeup artist. She is back in Zambia, heading Z-Girl Makeup and Lifestyle. Her goal is to enrich the lives of every person she comes in contact with using her art and her motto, Till We Make It. Featured on Style with Roses, she inspires you to turn your insecurities into breaking uncharted territories across the globe. Hi there. Welcome to another exciting episode of Style with Roses. We feature roses that are flourishing in their different fields, blossoming in their areas of interest, Zambian girls, African girls, spreading it all around. Today, I've got Wadia Nawa. Zambian girl who has been in the United States for over 14 years mm -hmm. and she's found her way back home and is ready to take on the makeup industry as it seems but it's bigger than that I think how yes. are you now I'm fine thanks how are you so I'm just interested and so intrigued to hear about your story you left mm -hmm. Zambia when you were only 18 yes to go to the United States yes what triggered off that thought um I think when I was 18 I had so many things going and I always felt like I belonged somewhere else. Okay. You know, so when I got the opportunity to travel, um, I just told myself, whatever happens, I just have to move. I just have to go make it over there. Yeah. And it was very overwhelming when I got there because then it was like, it's not what I expected. You know, it wasn't like all Hollywood or like what we see on TV. <laughs> So Wally has got an interesting career choice, mm -hmm. esthetician. What is an esthetician? Um, just a fancy way of saying skincare specialist. Okay. Yes. So um, what actually an esthetician can work with a plastic surgeon. Um, yes. It's, oh. it's, it's not the medical medical part. Because already I'm thinking an, aesth an aesthetic, not the one like when you no, go for an op or no, anything. Esthetician, no. skin, It's, it's just skincare. It's oh, just nice. basically skincare. Okay. But it's not dermatology. So an esthetician can work with a plastic surgeon. Like say you just had uh, plastic surgery and an esthetician will tell you how to take care of your, your wounds or your scars or how to cover them with makeup. Okay. So that's what an esthetician does. Okay, but your choice wasn't anything to do with working with a surgeon. What no. is it that you do? Yours, because your brand, you've actually launched your own line, mm -hmm. which is it Girl Makeup, you call it. Yes. So yours was more around skincare. Just yes. tell us more about that experience with how you launched Z Girl. Um, well, Z Girl came about from a passion that I had, which was skincare. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a burn survivor. Wow. Yeah, when okay. I was 11, about 11, I got burnt. Mm -hmm. And so growing up, I, um, I was so obsessed with perfect skin and just looking perfect. So I was going to be a plastic surgeon. I always thought I would be a plastic surgeon, but I wasn't so good in math and science. I'll look where you yeah. are now. <laughs> so, but I didn't know that I was an artist either. And then growing up, like fast forward, I was in the 12th grade and um, I, was, I, I used to take literature. Okay. But then one day I was just in the art room, like just joking around with my friend and I was drawing and the art teacher came up and he's like, are you an artist? I was like, nope. And he's like, you are an artist. He's like, go, you, you didn't know, even know come it. to the art club. No, I didn't. Wow. So it was just like an accident. Okay. So then after I discovered that I could draw and I could do art, mm -hmm. he told me, he's like, you're very good in blending. Like you, you can blend well. Okay. So I was like, oh, okay. So fast forward again, now I'm in America and, um, I, auditioned it's it's actually called an audition a, mm. a, an interview for mac cosmetics and they actually told me they were like um um do you have you ever done makeup before and i was like no i've never done makeup before but then they gave me someone they're like okay do makeup on someone and i did and they're like wow this is amazing you know and it came naturally yes to you. yeah okay. and they're like well if you if this is your first time then you're just you're natural at I'm it good. yeah because from your work experience, I know, I mean, obviously I looked at your bio. So from your work experience, you have worked with MAC, you've worked with Demo. Demo Blend, Fashion Fair, uh -huh. uh, Givenchy. Um, 
the Those whole... are top brands in makeup, hey? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was it was a great experience. Like all the t- I I like to challenge myself. I like to push myself. Even just uh, auditioning for Mac or interviewing for Mac. You know, most people are like you can't get in there. You're, it's easier to get into the CIA than you know interviewing. Really, yeah. that's how complicated it it's, is. It's very hard. And how long were you there for? Um, for Mac, mm-hmm. about three years. Okay. Three years. And but even with Mac, I was freelancing. Okay. Yeah, because I still wanted to do other things because you, I didn't want to be stuck in one area. So it's like I would still do my own thing. And mm-hmm. then when they called me, when they had hours, like I would always go there. So. But there's other things that were very interesting that happened while you were in the United States. Mm-hmm. But I just want you to hold that thought. Mm-hmm. When we come back, let's hear more about Walia's journey in the United States and the amazing, huge things that she actually did while she was there. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. You are watching Style with Roses. Before the break, Walia was telling us about her journey. She took a daredevil journey to go to the United States when she was only 18 years old and she studied something complicated like being an esthetician. You can brush it off and say it's just glorified makeup, but it's more than that because behind that was an experience that she had when she was a child and now she is ruling in the Garden of Roses in which she is placed. That is wonderful. The other thing that you've done in the States was you were involved with a project with Paramount Pictures and Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just share that exciting bit of your life? Okay. Um, I think I'll start by how I found myself. It it was a whole process before um, I actually found myself on the set working with Paramount Pictures. Okay. Um, I was was working. I had like three jobs at a time Mm -hmm. at the time. I remember I was sleeping like four hours every day. Only four hours. Yes, four hours. And my son was about two at the time, who always thought, like, mommy, you sleep too much. Because every time I went home, like, I'll try to sleep for a few hours. He just thought, like, mommy so you've just got a young sleeps son all the as time. Well. Yes, I do. He's oh, 12 okay. now. Okay. Yeah, he's, nice. he's 12 now. Um, so, anyway, uh, one of the jobs I had was working on, on set on this um, movie. It's called Lilith. That was the first movie I ever did. Lilith. And yes, okay. and I was working for free. Um, so just to get experience because it was the first movie I found it online I was, and they were looking for an assistant makeup artist I was like okay let me try this let me just branch into the movie industry mm-hmm. so when I went there I worked with the makeup artist who like after a week she decided she had to go to back to California okay. because she had an emergency um, so I found myself now being the head the head makeup artist which they did end up paying me there so, you go. Yeah. So I did a great job with that one because the makeup artist had left. So the director was really impressed with what I did. And he invited me to work on another movie. That's awesome. So like from that movie, it led me to another movie, to another movie. And then I also found myself on Paramount Pictures and Nickelodeon. Ah, Nickelodeon for the kids. So all nice and fun. Is it, it just as we see it here? Yes. Nice fun yes, set, I'd it, imagine. It, it is. It is very but colorful. Okay, sorry mm-hmm. to interrupt. Was it? Is there a lot of makeup that you do while you were there? Were you also in charge of makeup? Uh, yes, a lot. Because um, the movie I was working on was called Fun Size, or is called Fun Size. Okay. And it's a Halloween movie. So we're doing a lot of Halloween makeup. Oh. So it was very, um, a lot of makeup, um, FX makeup and beauty makeup. Um, so a lot of extras as well. So, yeah. But it was, it was fun. It was a great experience. I'd imagine so. So why would you leave all of that to come back home? Um... I asked myself that all the time, but then I felt like, first of all, I missed home. Mm-hmm. I missed my mom, I'm very close with my mom. And I just felt like I just wanted to settle down, you know, raise my son and just be, just have a normal life. Because okay. it's, it's, it's not all glamour, like when you're working on set. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's a lot of work. It's very, it's, it's hard work. And I felt like I had that experience and now I was needed more back home. So, okay. and that's, that's why I'm, I'm here now. And I left when my career was at the top. So it's not like I failed and then I came back home. It was at its peak, but then yeah. you just had this strong inclination to rather come home. Yes. And how has it been for you? Have it's been back great. Home? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been great. It's challenging. Uh, it gets frustrating at some point, but then it's, it's, I'm, I'm learning a lot and I'm teaching a lot too from okay. like what I have learned. You've gone there, you've achieved what you've achieved, you've found your way back. I, I know when we're having a little chat in the back, you felt a little frustrated coming back home, but 
now you said the second time around you came there's more acceptance to being an esthetician. I've got to get used to that. <laughs> esthetician mm -hmm. in Zambia. And there's a lot of makeup artists coming up. So yes, are yes. you blending with like-minded people who are in, in a similar field to you? Um, I'm trying to. Okay. Um, and I would love to. Okay. Um, I've met uh, a few makeup artists in Zambia that I've seen their work and they're doing Brilliant. amazing. Yes, yeah, they're, they're doing amazing, amazing things. Right. The skill is there. And um, I've had some come up to me because they want to learn. I also end up learning from them as well. So I'm really for it. Like, okay. I would love to work with other artists. And if we can all just come together and yeah. just do big things and help grow the industry, that's, that's actually one of my goals. It's, it's all about collaborations. But the beauty about what it is that you do is that you have now an opportunity to pass on what you know to inspire somebody else. Okay. So we want to challenge you to pass a rose. Okay. We'd like you to take this rose and to think about one person that you'd like to give this rose to. Pass it on to them. Say what it is that you want to say to them to inspire them, to encourage them, or to be grateful that they are in your life and they are a rose in your life or you are a rose in theirs. Okay. There you go. <laughs> this is really cool. <laughs> Um, so I'd like to pass this rose on to Jennifer. Okay. Jennifer is my mom. Oh. Um, Jennifer is a single mom. Like okay. She's been a single mom since I was five. And um, she's really raised me to be a go-getter, mm -hmm. a strong woman. She always tells me, don't wait for any man to do anything for you. You know, like, uh, she just raised me to be this independent woman. Strong. And she's much, much stronger than I am. Like, she's... She's a beast. You know? uh, like she's, she's, she's really... I don't know how she'll feel about you calling her I a beast. Should, I'll explain to her <laughs> later what it means. But yeah, I pass on this rose to Jennifer and to all single moms because okay. I'm a single mom as well. Mm -hmm. um, so just letting them know, don't give up. Keep going. Keep moving till we make it. And there you go. That's a rose for single mom Jennifer. You've brought on a beautiful rose that has now blossomed and is already to, is ready to impact other roses in the garden. Yes. Look forward to talking to you some more. And when we come back, some more with Walia Nawa. Hi, this is Walia, your number one Z girl makeup, and I'm hanging with Rose on Style with Roses. Welcome back. On set today, I'm speaking to Walia Nawa. And just before the break, she was giving us insight onto her wonderful journey and experience in the United States, where she worked at Paramount Pictures and worked on the Nickelodeon set. But there's one major one that you didn't mention, yes. Billion Dollar One. <laughs> All years. You want to tell us about that one? Yes, the Avengers, Marvel Comics. Okay. Yes, so with this one, I was actually packing. I was getting ready to come to Zambia. You know, I had applied for uh, the Avengers. And I remember my brother was like, huh, 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 you know, like, whatever. Like, Avengers. Yeah, like, you won't get it. So I applied anyway. And I waited and I waited. And I think it took like two months. And then I forgot about it. And then now I'm packing, going to Zambia, you know, got rid of my apartment and everything. And I was in a hotel room. And the call came like, hi, this is so and so from Marvel Comics. And I was like, wait, huh? You know, I thought it was my brother was punking me or something. And I laughed too. I was like, yeah, right. Wow, and I'm like, no, it. yeah, seriously. We looked at your resume. Would you come and join us? You know, the makeup um, set on, on oh, the Avengers. Are you available August? And I'm thinking, I'm supposed to be in Zambia. I was like, yeah, sure. I'm available. I'll I'm be here. There. I'm all in. Yeah. Yeah. So after that, um, I went on the set. It was very huge set. It was It was so amazing. And. I put my kit down and they had everything organized and I met John Blake, who's um, a nominated, Oscar nominated uh, makeup artist. I've heard of John Blake. Yes. Like if you Google him, like the work he's done. The is John Blake. Yes. Yes. You will too. Planet of the Apes and all these amazing. Movies. Oh, I yeah. still want to be you right now. Yes. Brilliant guy. He was very, very sarcastic guy. Like I told, he asked me, he's like, where are you from? Because of my accent. He's mm -hmm. like, where are you from? I was like, I'm from Zambia. He's like, oh, you know what the number one killer is in Zambia? You know what the number one killer is in Zambia? 
I was like, um, HIV? He's like, no, hippos. <laughs> and I researched really? it and it was hippos, Hi- yeah. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. I was going to say malaria. No. It's hippos. Mm-hmm. Oh, but then... Gay it, it was hippos over. then. I don't know if it's still hippos now. Please don't Google that and just come back <laughs> and say it was... Yeah. Yeah, but so, we'll check it out just yeah. in case. Wow. Mm-hmm. So it was It was a nice... It was, it was really nice. And then, you know, when you're on set, like all the stars come out and they look like normal people. You can't get so excited. You can't take pictures because you sign stuff. You sign papers, you can't take pictures. So you can't have a group you can't be, like, n- No, no, not really. You can't just get all excited. Yeah. Because it's like, they, you're on set, you're working with them. They're just workers as well. Mm. They're just, they're not Hollywood, act, you know, stars. I guess you so. get used to it though, hey? You do. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Okay. You do. What I love about your story is that here you are, 18 years old, you went out, you took a risk. Mm-hmm. You went to a place that you've never ever been to. Yeah. Don't even know anything about it. You persevered. You went into a passion that you had discovered was yours. And look where you ended up. On it a sounds so nice set. coming from you. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> like wow, yes, this is really it. cool. Yeah. yeah. What I find so interesting is the changing times. I'm wondering if an 18 year old now would do what you did 14 years ago. Do you think we still have that drive as a young people or Um, do they, not me? I feel like, yes, yes, we still do. I mean, it's obviously a whole different time right now than it was 14 years ago. Um, And it also depends on the person. Okay. Like, um, are they not, I think you don't, don't let fear hold you back, okay. basically. So um, I, when I went to America, um, in that time, it was much easier to even get a visa. Because mm. um, right now, that was before September 11th. But anyway, um, it's, it's, it also depends on the person, mm. what type of drive that you have, and okay. not just don't let fear hold you back. Mm-hmm. Um, it's also good to go and experience other places, because mm. then you open up your mind more. Um, I, I hope I'm answering your question because I don't feel like I'm, no, no, I'm no, answering No, 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 you, you your, absolutely your are. And, yeah. and I'm so tempted because of your remarkable story and the type of barriers that you've broken. You're kind of like, you need to pass on another rose. I mean, what inspiration would you give someone who has gone to the lengths that you have? I mean, Hollywood is huge. Paramount and media. I mean, that mm-hmm. is that is the voice of nations. And you were right there, like you were saying, with the decision makers that decide what gets watched on TVs. I mean, if you just look at Avengers, mm-hmm. the, the, the comics, the magazines, the exposure that is had on different media platforms, and you were right there. Yeah. Our own little Zambian girl, <laughs> Walia, was there making decisions. What would you say to inspire somebody else who wanted to achieve as much as you have? Um, not to give up. Mm-hmm. Because there were so many times when I could have given up. Um, like I had mentioned, I had, a, I had a son. I had a son and he was, you know, I could have just given up then and said, you know what, I have to stay home with my son. And you were but, a single mom still. Yes, and yeah. single mom. There were mm-hmm. so many other different things that could have told me, don't do this. Even just from the first job that I got, the, the one where I worked for free, mm. there were things telling me, don't go there. What if it's, you know, what if you get kidnapped? What if this? Because you hear of all these different stories. Mm. Um, but yes, basically not giving up and just going for what you want. Even when people say, you know, you can't make it, just know if, if you're passionate about something, just keep going, just keep moving yeah. and just don't give up. I also like the, just in closing, I also like the the volunteer aspect. I think that's a new concept that actually needs to be introduced mm-hmm. to our local Zambia, Africa volunteerism. I mean, people just go out there, volunteer your time, work with no pay, understanding that in due time, I'm going to get the rewards. And that's what happened to you. Yes. First yes. you were just working and now here you are, you finally find yourself in a place where you're actually getting paid yes and now you pay people yes exactly because now you've become an employer. <laughs> well done you go that's a high Thank five <laughs> well it's Thank been you. so good having you around and that's what i like about a guest on our shows it's mm-hmm. like you can go on and on and on yeah. but yeah. every good thing comes to an end no this was so fun really like i could been, get used to this yes you know, could i mean you can here. come every day yeah. and we just sit and chat <laughs> and then you can do my face and okay do all those good things no you know problem. great this has been while an hour z girl <laughs> amazing story remarkable story she went and broke right up until hollywood all those movies you see paramount nickelodeons for the young ones she was there on the set doing the makeup our own zambian girl 
making headlines mm -hmm. and not freaking out when she saw the celebrities. <laughs> this has been Style with Roses with Wagenauer. Join me next time as I bring another blossoming and flourishing rose. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>